So, angels, do you guys know like when you're trying to have the best relationship you possibly can with your family, a certain family member, or certain family members, and it just doesn't work, okay? It just doesn't work out like you want it to be, like it should be because of the other person. You put your all into it because you want to be the best sister you can, but they need to be a good sister to you also. You want to be the best brother that you can, but they need to be good to you and a good brother also. You want to be the best cousin that you can, but they need to do the same. Because no relationship is going to work out if it's a one-way relationship. Not a sister, not a brother, not a cousin, not an uncle, not an aunt. It's just not going to work out no matter how hard you try. Or either you're just going to just take it for what it is and be miserable and always get your feelings hurt because of something they said or something they did to you. Or are you going to choose to love them from a distance? And I feel sometimes we have to choose. We have to make that choice to love somebody from a distance. They can be your sibling. You know, they can be your uncle, your aunt, your cousin, anybody in your family. But if they don't respect you and they use you every chance they get, they make you feel bad about yourself. They're always starting something up with you for no reason over petty stuff. They talk about you like a dog behind your back and it gets back to you within the family. They never have a helping hand. Like, I know people can't help all the time, but they're never there for you. Like, they never can help you. Anytime you ask, it's no. It's no. It's no. I can't. I can't do this, or I'm not going to even try to do this, or I don't care, or I even don't care how it works out for you. I mean, I can help you, but I don't want to help you. I could help you, but it's not worth my time right now. I have better things to do and better things to worry about. But when I need you, I'm going to come and ask you to help me or be there for me. Or I'm going to wonder when I need something and you don't try your best to help me, um, I'm going to wonder how could you do this to me. You're my sister. You're my brother. You're my uncle. You're my aunt. You're my niece. You're my nephew. And I'm just going to wonder how come you're never there for me, but I know that I'm never there for you. I know I can never help you. I know I'm using you, but I'm just wondering when I need something, why can't you be there for me? You're my sister for God's sake. You're my brother for God's sake. You know, okay, that's how some people really think okay that's how some people in your family they really think this way my allergies are messing up right now my eyes are itching okay but that's how they think that's how some family members think they're never there when you need them and we don't expect somebody to be there for something like every time we need something done they're not going to be there every time, but I'm talking about somebody who's never there, who always tell you no, who always can't help you with like the simplest little things, just don't care. 
But yet, they expect you to be there for them in their time of need. And if you don't, they get mad. Well, you know, some people are not going to take that. Okay, some people are not going to take that type of behavior, whether you're family. It doesn't matter if you're family, okay? You're family and people want to get along with their family. You know, most people want to get along with their family, but I'd say if they're your sister, if they're your brother or whatever, you try. But at the end of the day, if they're not being a good sister or a good brother... If they're always putting you down and making you feel bad and making you miserable and just you can never um, go to them for anything, then love them from afar. If they're causing you too much of pain, you have to just decide to start, you know, loving them from afar, which from a distance, which means you love them, you don't wish any harm on them, you don't wish any hate on them. But you distance yourself from them and you just, you know, you don't have a close relationship with them anymore. You might not even see them anymore and you don't go around them. But just love them from afar, wish them the best, and pray for them. That's what you just have to do sometimes because some family just ain't family, okay? For real. Some family ain't family. Some of your family members are just your worst enemies and they don't care, you know, what happens to you. They don't care to help you ever. You know, they don't care to even be a listening ear for you. You know, they don't bring you up like family members or siblings should. They just don't care really. So you just have to do this sometimes. And they expect so much. Some family, some siblings expect so much from you because you're their sibling they just expect you to do so much for them and to be nice to them be there when they need you be there when they call you but then they're not doing the same thing why is that why do they think just because you're their sibling you're gonna run when they need you help them when they need you but they're never there for you why do some people even think like that I don't get it I really don't get it um it's just a shame that some people think this way you know I think it's crazy because if you if you want that much help and you know you expect that much of stuff from your sibling you should be also able to do that for them in their time of need. So I just think it's stupid. You know, it's crazy how some people think just because they're your sister, brother, cousin, or whatever, that you're going to be there for them, but they're never there for you. It just makes no sense at all. So that's why, yeah, I agree with the term of loving people from a distance because that's just sometimes what you have to do you have to make that decision sometimes because it's not working out and like you put your time into being there for your sibling and years after years you keep trying with them and you keep trying for your relationship to get better with your siblings but obviously you see that it's not working out because they are not allowing it to work out how it should be they're not trying like you are they're not giving you another chance or they're just not treating you like they should, you know. And why should you have to take, you know, madness and why do you have to take shit off of your sibling just because they're your sister or just because they're your brother? You shouldn't have to. So, yeah, you know, loving people from a distance sometimes that's just what you have to do at the end of the day because... Basically, there's not another choice unless you're going to take that choice of getting beat up by them, getting beat down by them, being miserable every time you come around them, with them making you feel low and they can never give you a helping hand. They don't act like a sibling, you know, unless you're going to take that choice and if you're going to take that choice, then 
that's your choice. That's your choice to take, and if that's what you want to do, that's fine. Take that choice. But if you're willing to be miserable every time you come around that particular person, then don't blame nobody else for how you feel and for how that person treats you because that was your choice to make. So if you want to take that choice forever and just live that way, then do it. But for the ones that, you know, get tired of that treatment from a sibling or from a family member and they can't handle it or take it, like every time they see them, it's always some drama or it's always them making them feel low, bringing them down or never giving them a helping hand when they can but they just don't want to. For those that make that decision to love them from a distance, then good for you because you're not going to take that shit and you're just going to live your life and you're going to love that person from a distance because you know in your mind and your heart that you've done the best that you can and there's nothing left to do. And you just don't want to sit there and be miserable every time you see your sibling or every time you're around them, every time you have to go around them, every time you choose to visit visit them or when something comes up, you know, you just don't want to do that. You don't feel like that's necessary. You don't want to take that bad treatment, you know. So, loving somebody in your family who's close to you who you need to be close to you but is not close to you who should be close to you but is not close to you like your sister your aunt your uncle your cousin your brother you know loving them from a distance would be a good choice to make so just love them from a distance you love them you move on with your life you pray for them, you don't wish anything bad on them, you don't wish anything to happen to them, you just can't be close to them, you can't be near to near with them, and you just can't have that close, loving relationship that a sibling or a family member should have because of them and because of their ways. So, you made a good choice if you choose to love them from a distance. So that's it for today, angels, and thanks for tuning in to loving somebody from a distance in your family, whether it's your sibling, your uncle, aunt, niece, nephew, cousin, whatever, just, you know, you didn't make a bad decision if that's the decision that you made. Just know that. Thanks so much, angels, and don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe. Bye, angels.